Hello, and welcome to Catfish Trash Talk. This is episode 23. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noel Winters Herzog. Hi, hello. Hi, Noel. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, you're usually not here. No, I'm never here, actually. This just I'm a kidding. Guest. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Noel, I'm just happy when you're here all the time. We've been together all day. It's a great oh. day. <laughs> <laughs> We've been together my whole life. Well, yes, that too. Most of uh, all of my adult life. Yes, all yeah. of mine as well. My all full my, adult life. All of my full childhood as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to talk about season one, episode five of Catfish, Jared and Abby. You know, this was refreshing because I almost forgot this episode a little okay. bit. <laughs> At the end, shocked. Right? It's the funniest thing that there are certain things that like will not get out of your head and you will remember forever and ever until the day you die. Right. Yes. And then there are other things like when I read a book, Mm -hmm. I could read the reread the book the next year and I am shocked by everything that happens in it. Right. You're still crying at the at the same thing because I forget the whole entire story. You know, I don't usually forget catfish and this threw me for a loop. It really did. I thought it was going to be, I don't know, like at first, like how the episode began, I was like, no, I remember this episode. And then I was like, wait, that's not what happened on the episode. I remember there is an episode. I think that's three episodes from now that I think I confused this one with me too. But isn't that weird that we were confused at the same? Yeah, it is weird because this it's like, I truly like, I remembered the guy, but like that was, I don't remember this girl. I don't remember this girl. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, weird. OK, well, I'm glad that we're on the same page with that. <laughs> We've been on the same page our whole lives. All right. So let's get into it. You notice mm-hmm. that Catfish in the beginning gives every single detail. I'm surprised they don't give their, their social security numbers. But I also like I don't know. I feel like they're so n- much nicer to the people on the show, like Neve. Yeah, but so it's, nice. It's less everybody. scripted. Well, that's why I love it. It's so much less produced. It's not forced. Exactly. All right. So let's talk about Jared Musselwhite. He's from a little town outside of Albany, Georgia, with four and a half people in the town. This is the smallest town I've ever seen. The smallest town in the world. So, yes, he's in a band. He had a baby Mm -hmm. and his wife left him when he was 20. Right. I mean, he had a kid young. Yeah, he was a teen mom. He was a teen mom. Mm hmm. He met Abby online. And the problem was, is that he didn't have a webcam at first. And but then she did. She did. And then when he did have a webcam, she didn't anymore. She must have thrown it out the window. You must have broken. It always breaks. It does break a lot. Mm-hmm. And then he says something that is not sitting well with me. What does he say? They're like, so tell us about Abby. And he says, quote, she's the person I call whenever I have some sort of issue. Okay. Okay. I I don't think he meant it how it sounds. No, but I feel like I'm so triggered by men. I get it, but I also feel like men back then were a little nicer. I don't know. I feel like this was so much longer. <laughs> what do you think happened? Long ago. I don't know. Bad things. Like he seems pretty genuine. No, no, no he does. But what I'm saying is like, I, I just yeah, <laughs> like it was. It sounds. Right, it came like off that. as using. Yes, it comes off as like I am the center. Yes. And I call her not that we're there for each other. Right. She's there for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you. I get it. So that was kind of annoying. But they do say I love you to each other. Mm -hmm. And he has a six year old daughter. He told her about it and their bonds even grew stronger. Okay, good. So he plays I think he plays bass in this band forever and counting. Mm -hmm. So him and Abigail met on Facebook and we don't get a lot of backstory on how they met on Facebook. I have no idea how they met on Facebook. Okay. So also Neve said that his daughter is like a kid model. It's like, you just saw a picture of the kid. Cause she was, he saw a picture of her and I guess, cause it was like an all white, you know how like they model. I know, but I just all white space. I feel like Neve. It was a glamour shot. Right. But Neve goes above and beyond sometimes. I do that too with like, I have yeah. nervous energy. Yes, exactly. Uh-huh, I get that. It's like, you don't know what to say. So I'm just going to say something very outlandish. Right. I'm not saying she's not cute. It's just like, she's no ma- she, well, not There's nothing wrong with her. It's just that's not a modeling picture. Right. It's just a picture of a kid. Mm-hmm. I get it. So <laughs> Neve is now playing guitar and they're going to play the blues 
It's very cute. See, this is the Neve that I like. Yes. Neve is more involved personally. Yes. yes. Right. He seemed actually to be very friendly with him. Like, I think it seems like they were actually friends. Right. They were more. He's more invested in them. Yes. So they were supposed to meet up. And then she had a family emergency in Mississippi. The night before. The night before. It's always the night before. It's always. It's always the night before they're supposed to be. There's a car accident. There's an emergency. There's a random cancer. Like a lot of random something. cancers. A lot, a of, random lot cancer. of car accidents. I've never heard of so many car accidents. It's like I started watching the show. It's so crazy. There are so many emergencies, just in general emergencies. That's true. I've never had so many emergencies. Good. That's a good thing. Let's not yes, go into let's that. Let's not have a lot of emergencies. <laughs> All right. So now they're going to go to a cafe to investigate. Okay, I like that. They cafe about it. (laughs) They cafe all about it. So they look up Abigail Johns Mm -hmm. and some guy named Abbott posted on her wall recently. Does anyone think Abigail Abbott? But how has Max notices everything? It shocked me. He didn't put this together. So they message Abbott. Right. And they ask him if he's video chatted with Abigail and if he knows her in real life. And he's like, yeah, I think I think so. I just can't like remember when. Right. Uh, But that's her. It's definitely her in the pictures. Okay. the thing is, did we ever find out is Abbott like, is is that a cat? But that's what I'm saying. There's so many unanswered questions right Mm -hmm. off the bat. Yes. It's so insane. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, So they uh, I don't know. I know. I know. It's a they, lot. They think that Abbott's fake. OK, I mean, I think Abbott's fake. Well, like, you don't I would have asked you don't more ask. Well, that's the thing. I how think about how was, about we have a phone call? Do you think this is a little more? This is before they were better at this, I guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they call Abigail. Right. And they're like, hi, we're taking a TV show. We want to help you meet up with your friend Jared. This is back in the days before the person like on the phone knew who they were. She was like, oh, okay, this is weird. Yes. And they're like, have you ever tried to meet up? And she's like, yeah, we haven't like try tried. Right. So she and they're like, oh, okay, got you. Oh, they didn't try try. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So they tell her how much he cares about her, how he Mm -hmm. feels about her. And she's like, oh, my God, the feeling is so mutual. Right. I feel the same. Yada, yada, yada. But she's a little aloof. A little aloof, Mm -hmm. a little aloof, a little aloof. So they do this reverse Google image search, which is my favorite thing to do. And they find out this picture is a girl, Shanna Roberts from Ohio. Mm -hmm. Well, the Mm -hmm. next morning, Mm -hmm. Neve wakes Max. Max doesn't like to be woken up. Okay, but I don't know if I would be either. (laughs) He's pulling (laughs) the blankets off of him. Yeah, he doesn't like it. Max doesn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. Hold the blankets off. of. I know better. Like, I like you, but like, what are you doing? That's the thing. I know better. I would never do that to you. But that's not how you wake someone up. Neve. No, you have to do what I do to Poppy. I just like blow on him so I don't startle him. <laughs> you do that to me sometimes, too. <laughs> I do. Like, oh. Just to make sure you're breathing. <laughs> <laughs> so they wake up and they don't know where the car is parked. And Max is like, oh, poor Neve doesn't know where his car is parked because he's so famous. I think they were tired of being in hotel rooms together at this point. <laughs> Yes, I think they're they like, need can a we break. Get- <laughs> <laughs> can we get separate rooms yet? Yeah, and like, I, no. I think we can't afford it yet. <laughs> no, you guys have to shower together as well. Mm, that'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so now they're going to go to uh, Jared's band practice. That was that was like they were thrashing. This was uh, <laughs> definitely MySpace era music. Whose like house was this? The whole house was a performance place. So a performance center. That was it. So I'll tell you this. In the South, Mm -hmm. this is what just what happens. Is it? Yeah. It's just a different life, Noelle. It is. Like I I could never afford to have a separate place to do things in. So I used to work for a band from the South. I remember very much. (laughs) And they used to, I don't know if they still do, but they used to practice in a storage space. Really? Literally. It, that's like a mini garage, right? Yes. Yeah. That's, that's kind of exactly. scary, but yeah. 
It was definitely scary. People, I think, try to live in them sometimes, too. Yes. Well, if you you don't watch Marin on IFC about Mark Marin. No, it's a it's Mark Marin's like sitcom based on his life, basically. OK. And he goes off the wagon and they find him living in a storage space and pooping in a bucket. That sounds terrible. Yeah, because there's okay. no outlets or anything either. Don't fall off the wagon, kids. <laughs> Please don't fall off the wagon. You're going to end up Please. pooping in a storage space. You're going to poop in a bucket in a storage <laughs> space. You don't need that in your life. <laughs> so now there's two uh, groupie friends. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Very groupie esque. Angela and Sarah. And they mm-hmm. have 20 lip rings between them. I counted the metal. Oh, you counted the metal on them. I'm telling you, this was like if MySpace was a person. Like you're all so of this. right. You're so this right. This entire episode. Mm-hmm. It's very MySpace esque. So they go to this barbecue place and they show him the other profile of this woman that they found. Right. That is, you know, not Abigail. Yes. This is uh, Shana Roberts in Ohio. And And I feel bad. He seems very upset. Okay. So the thing is, when he reacts to these things, Uh he is like so internally upset and he's like agonizing. He's distraught. The name of this place is Keith Q. It is 100% Keith Q. Is this a thing? Is this like a okay. chain? I need to know more about this because it looked like they were just like, because I saw a knee when he was standing like in that barn area. It was just like sauces were there. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't understand what's happening. Okay, so this is, I don't think that this is a chain. Okay. It is on Washington Avenue in Ashburn, Georgia. Mm-hmm. And uh it is just a barbecue place. I'm assuming it's a barbecue place named owned by a guy named Keith. I was thinking the same thing. Keith a Q. Noella Q. Tracy a Q. <laughs> I like that. That sounds cute. Trash a Q. Trash a Q. Oh, good one. Trash. We strive established in 1998. We strive to make all customers glad they stopped by. We have barbecued pork, beef, brisket. Beef brisket. Sorry, that was one. Chicken and ribs. We also have fried chicken and hamburgers for the few that don't want barbecue. We are sure you will find something you will enjoy. Well, that's very uh, optimistic. <laughs> that's very interesting. OK, uh, sides. Is there anything about sides? Uh, it doesn't say anything about sides, but I guess we okay. can look at the menu. They should definitely say Update. something about. <laughs> I mean, say something about sides. No. Well, that's the thing, because I'm intrigued by the meats. I love brisket. Right. OK, I, I have a copy here of the menu. You're welcome. You're very great at this. Thanks so much. Listen, <laughs> you tell me that you need a menu and, and you got I, it. You get it just like that. Two snaps and a twist. Right. I can order for you right now. I could get some. <laughs> you actually know what I like, too, I can which makes my life barbecue. so much easier. Stop on by. We love our customers and love meeting new people. Stop by and put your pin in our map. All oh. right. OK. Oh, oh it's that. OK, I get that. Excuse me. Put your pin in my All right, map. Let's see the menu. Ooh. All right. So we have chopped barbecue plate. OK, mm. you know, you're in a good restaurant when they call something a plate. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. Chopped barbecue plate pulled Boston butt plate. That was my nickname in college. Boston butt plate. pulled <laughs> Boston butt. <laughs> Marinated chicken, seasoned and smoked rib mm. plate. And then the combo plate you should choose from two of above. Once there's a choice of two, also things get real here. All right. So you could also get a chicken salad plate. No, thank you. Goodbye. Chicken strip plate, pork chop plate, and then your mother's favorite, a hamburger steak plate. I'm telling you, hamburger steak is a thing. Andrea loves it. (laughs) Yeah, I, I don't know what's up with that. Also, they have dogs. Oh, hot dogs. I was sausage dog, scrambled dog, foot long corn dog, hot dog, chili dog, slaw dog. They have some sandwiches, but more importantly, I don't see any guys. Is that weird? It's strictly meat, you know? No, no. There has to be sides. Don't don't do this to me. My dad, my dad wanted to open a restaurant that was just meat, meat. That's it. I remember (laughs) this. this. Etiquette. This is etiquette. He wanted to name it either meet me here, M-E-A-T, me this here, very funny. or Cannibal Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> that was like his dream. He wanted an all meat restaurant. This is so great. <laughs> this is so Oh, uh, You just sparked a memory in me with, B- with Keith Q. <laughs> Are there no sides? That's a very strange place to be. All right. I'm going to go to the. No, I see sides in the pictures, Noel. 
they're just yeah, it's the- probably like baked beans <sighs> coleslaw but like why it shouldn't be this hard it should just life shouldn't be this hard sometimes you just want to sign there's no it's not on the menu yeah, there are sad. sides yeah. but they like forgot it's like they just forgot to put them on the menu yeah interesting Okay, well, I mean, okay, I'm gonna have to call Keith a cue and ask him. I'll call Keith. Hello, <laughs> Keith. Do you have Hello, sides? Keith. It's me, Cannibal Joe. <laughs> Do you have sides? <laughs> it's Noella Q. <laughs> you know, Cannibal Joe's daughter, <laughs> aka Etiquette. I don't know where he got Joe from, too. It's very funny. Ooh, if your dad's <laughs> restaurant was Etiquette, it's like Etiquette. Yeah, that's cute. Etiquette. Okay, so. Okay, we're back. We're back to Catfish. Neve has faith. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, on the other hand, it could just be absolutely real. He's a little uh, he's not jaded yet. He's a little <laughs> Neviv. Yeah, he is Neviv. <laughs> Ooh, like he's a little Nivia, <laughs> a little Nivia. So now they're going to call her to meet up and they tell her they're going to come tomorrow and they're like, clear your schedule. How about that? Yeah, because she's like, well, I don't know what I have going on tomorrow. It's like, like, OK, well, give you're me a coming break. here. Yeah. Jared is chain smoking. Mm-hmm. He's and smoking he, a cigarette about it, as you like smoke, to say. <laughs> he gets very nervous, so he smokes a cigarette about it. Mm-hmm. And he says something very interesting here. What does he say? That he's in love with her, but not the idea of her. Okay. Keith, all you have is the idea of her. Keith. I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's Animal very funny. Joe, all you have is the idea of her. Uh, yeah, th- I think that he means like... Uh, I think he means just not her looks. I just don't think he's like, doesn't really know what to say. You know, I know, but I don't think like all, I don't know this. It was just very confusing to me. Yeah, I know this was, I watched this episode actually two and a half times. I know that sounds crazy. I watched it last night. I felt like I was, it didn't absorb enough. And I watched it one and a half more times. Yeah. I understand not really knowing what's going on. And the only thing I really do know about is my manicure. I love my Manny. Okay, Noelle and I have been using no joke for real olive and mm-hmm. June nail polish. <sighs> it just doesn't chip. I don't understand. Okay, but I'm like obsessed for reals. Yeah, yeah. Like I have I love olive the and June on right set. now. You guys can't see me, but you know, <laughs> I can see you. You can. Olive and June's manicure system is the ultimate secret behind the salon perfect nails at home. All in one, no guessing, no messy nails, no salon price tag. Love it. You can achieve beautiful salon perfect nails at an affordable price. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this kit yeah. mm-hmm. is so amazing. You get a buffer, you get a nail file, you get a top coat, you get, you get the drying get, drops, which I love. Yeah. You get a cuticle. Cre- oh my God. I love this set. I know. I know. You get the nail polish remover, which is like one of those pots that you just stick your yes. finger in. I love it. The Manny system comes with six polishes. It breaks down to $2 a manicure. Yeah, that's unreal. I used to spend $35 for one gel manicure. Yeah, that wouldn't even last all that long. Everyone asked me if my polish is gel. Yes, me too. I have not had one. Literally, I have not had one chip. I've been using it for like two months now. No, I know. We use it all the time. We're always like, what color are you going to use? What color are you going to use? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Getting beautiful salon perfect nails at home is now a dream come true with Olive and June. Your new nail life is here. Visit oliveandjune.com slash catfish and use code catfish for 20% off your first Manny system. This is an exclusive offer you can only get here. That's Olive and June, O-L-I-V-E-A-N-D-J-U-N-E.com slash catfish, code catfish, catfish for 20% off your first Manny system. Oliveandjune.com slash catfish, code catfish. And of course, it will be in the show notes. Show notes. Okay. So Abby Mm -hmm. clears her schedule. Okay. She's ready. (sighs) He has a really good feeling about this, Jared. Well, good. You know, I would be nervous as hell. Okay. So they pull up. I can't. Uh Uh-huh. I don't understand any of this. Okay. First of all, I want to, I want to know about this general store. What was the store? I don't understand, but they pull up to what looks like a tiny house and then it's like a barn that they sell i don't know i don't know and then they open the door they open the gate to go like Uh i don't know maybe in the backyard of this tiny house yes and then there's a birdhouse behind it 
that's on cinder blocks. I'm not even saying that to be mean. It no, is on cinder blocks. But then there's yeah. a bunch of tiny little houses yes. or sheds yes. or does she live in a shed? I don't understand. Maybe somebody rents them out. I don't know. All right. Well, it's a shed community. Yeah, it is. A, it's a community of sheds. She comes out. Mm-hmm. Not not the girl in the pictures. This is Melissa and she is a stranger. She is a stranger and she just keeps saying it is what it is. Yes. And she also says, quote, I know I'm not Barbie or anything like that. But why does she keep saying Barbie? Okay. So clearly she is fixated on blonde hair and blue eyes. She, and is. she thinks that she's not pretty because she doesn't have blonde hair and blue eyes. OK, you don't need blonde hair and blue eyes to be pretty. Absolutely not. Also, mm-hmm. she's wearing the official necklace of catfish fake pearls. Yes, that is it's a thing. She has her emo screamo MySpace hair on. Yes, she does. That was a real thing back then. And then she talks about how it's I mean, she she just has a different face. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Everything else is the same. Okay. Well, that's a big part of your head. (laughs) Right. And it's also a big part of your lie. It's a lie. Well, that's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. She doesn't see that, though. The silly willy thing is. Mm hmm. I think he would have dated her anyway. Oh, okay. I was thinking the same thing. Cause I, I just think he wanted like companionship. I don't even think it had anything to do with what she looked like. Right. But also she's fine, but that's what I mean. She <laughs> thinks she's terrible and she's she not. has dark hair. Like I don't understand Who what's cares? happening here. Right. It, so she stop. explains that she used to cut herself. So obviously this is like some kind of self-esteem issue. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it's it's sad. I don't like seeing that. I don't like hearing that. I don't I don't want anybody to feel that way about themselves. It is. But, you know, in the time of MySpace. Yeah. In the time of emo screamoing. Yeah. I feel like this was a thing. OK, you're absolutely right. It was a thing. And I but I also feel like this isn't his fault. Why is he paying for like kind of like how you feel about yourself. You know what I mean? For sure. But I feel like she targeted some guy in a band. Yeah, that's true. And that was kind of it. Mm -hmm. She's she's sad. She is. She is very sad, sad, but she also kind of breezes by it and said, you know, I kind of did it like as a pick me up. She didn't think it's she doesn't think it's nearly as much of a big deal as it is. You know, it's like drinking a cup of coffee. Yeah, no big, no big. Still just different face. He doesn't say a word. This is what I'm saying about the internal struggle here. He's very upset. He is, again, distraught. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Very distraught. So they ask who the pictures are. And she's like, oh, I don't know. Some random chick. Uh Uh-huh. Right. But at least they ask. They usually don't ask. And right. And she says, quote, you can be whoever you want to be. Okay. On the internet. I I don't think that that is actually true at all. (laughs) It's not how life works. Yeah. You shouldn't do that. She said that she could be a self-made millionaire. Okay. I mean, I guess I could be too, if I wanted to be. She seems to be confused as to what the issue is. She says, quote, and here's a quote. I was completely myself. But you weren't though. And it does not matter what you look like. No, you weren't complete yourself. Yeah. You were hiding something from someone. You were leading someone to believe something else about you. That's not true. Right. So. She then does something that Amber from Team Mom does all the time. What'd she do? She says, I'm crying hysterically. Tracy, she says this and I'm like, am I, what am I missing here? But she isn't. No, I know. Not at all. And then she mentions again that she's not a blue, blonde hair, blue eyed Barbie. What? She's who, fixated. I, I, want, I know, but I want to know like who in her life told her that she's not blonde and not blue eyed. And that's why she's not good enough. Right. Probably like mean girls in high school or something. Well, she Mm -hmm. said that if she were to walk up to half the guys on the friends list of her Facebook account, they would say crazy stuff like, who are you? Yeah. Yes. If I walked up to him and I said, what's up? They'd say crazy stuff to me. Crazy stuff. Like, who are you? Like, who are you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. No, that's so crazy. They would absolutely say that because who are you? Right. Why are you just going up to random people saying, what's up? (laughs) She is very emotionally invested in this relationship yes, yes. and he i think he is too no well they were facebook official i okay when i saw that i'm like are you for reals fr fr yeah that's wild he's looking into outer space he's he's done he's broken he needs a break 
he needs a nervous break down. He's having one. So yes. she goes back into the birdhouse and they go to the hotel with mm-hmm. Jared. He is zonked out. Yes. He said that he's really going to miss Abby and he unfriends Abigail on Facebook. As he should. Good for him. All right. So now they find out this girl. Her name is Melissa. She's 19 years old. And they call her. And as they call her, there is an emo screamo mm-hmm. picture montage that goes. By. Yes. Yes. It The hair. It's a I'm lot. Like, what is happening? So now we meet her cousin, Lindsay. They go back to, to hang out with her. Her yes. cousin, Lindsay, is her clone. OK, right. I'm like, is this a sister? What is what's happening? Well, Jared and Melissa smoke a cigarette about it. They are. They smoke it. This is what they bond over cigarettes. This is her second zebra print outfit as well. She likes a good print. I no, can't begrudge is, her though this. Though. Right. But this is the time. This is the times. It is a good fake pearl with a zebra print. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. It is the times. You're right. She says that she cares more about how he feels than how she feels. I feel like I feel like a little mean, manipulative, but I feel like she means that she just doesn't know that that's not what's a happening. Thing. Yes. She said that she dropped out of high school because, well, her cousin said that she dropped out of high school because she was bully. And then she says, quote, she's had a lot of stuff happen to her. Oh, OK. That when she said that, I was like, that can't be oh, great. Th- th- this that sounds terrible. That cannot be mm-hmm. great. No, that's upsetting at all. Yeah, maybe maybe cousin, you should like zip it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Noelle, if we went what? on a TV show uh-huh. and you were like, yeah, she's got a <laughs> screw loose. Right. She's had very bad things happen to her. She's very traumatized. She has so many screws loose. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine? Well, they go to the beach. OK, random. She feels horrible and mm-hmm. she's like, uh, I wouldn't forgive me if I were you. Right. And it, she's like saying, like, she doesn't know if she could ever be happy. That's so sad. Well, he said that Abby died. Uh huh. And she said that she loves him. But I like that he's like, I better get a friend request. Dang it. Right. So they smoke a cigarette about it. They do. He said that he loved Abby because of her personality and he will not stop talking to her. That's so nice. He's so nice. She wants to get back to how they were. That's going to take time. And that's also, I mean, dream on. All right. So Neve takes a picture of them. Mm-hmm, which is cute. They hug long. They look, they hug long and hard. Okay. But when he was leaving, it seemed when he was leaving, it seemed like he was like happy. Like he had like a pep in his step when he said goodbye yes, to her. They did a mm-hmm. long hug. Yeah. He said, he'll be back. Mm-hmm. Now it's a month later. Yeah. <laughs> the tune has changed a little bit. He's like, I'm focusing on music and my romance is on hold. I just I wonder if they ever played hide the salami. I do. Well, I don't know, but they talk yeah. every single day. And here's the update on her. She lost 15 pounds. OK, and she deleted the Abigail page. OK, but what does that have to do with anything? What are you guys talking about? I know. I don't know what nobody's ever said anything about her weight. That was the last thing I could care about. On she here. lost 15 pounds. Good. Well, Good guess what, her. guys? I don't yeah. know if you listen to our other podcast. B.S. Yeah. But my height fluctuates on my health chart. I mean, it just does. It just I go does. from five, five to five, seven up and down my whole Overnight. life. <laughs> and every time they update me, no one says Tracy Grewer lost two inches. It just depends on how the chiropractor stretches you <laughs> that day, really. <laughs> well, she wants to be with him and mm. they have a they have a plan to visit in two weeks. I know. I really hope they did. I hope they did. But also they show the picture that Neve took of them on the beach. Uh huh. I love this picture. I know. It's such a good picture. Neve, very good photographer. Does Neve need to come and take promo shots of us? Yes, he does, because we have matching things. <laughs> <laughs> Neve. Uh-huh. If you're listening, which you 100 percent are, because I mean, what else are you going to do? Hard. Yes. Hard. Yes. You're listening. Noelle and I uh, bought matching faux fur blue uh, coats, mm-hmm. jacket, yes. jackets. Mm-hmm. My mom tried it on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can you come and do a photo shoot with for us? Not with us. I mean, you yeah. can be in like one or two I mean, pictures. you could join. Right. Right. But like, don't get crazy. It's yeah, us. just like two pictures. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Maybe someone someone at him. Go at him. Do you think that they ever actually met up in real life? Yeah, we did meet up. We met oh. up. This. Oh, my God. Yeah. What just happened? 
Who's here? <laughs> oh, it's just me. Oh my God. How did you get into our pot? There's so many people that do this. They just kind of climb just into join. our podcast. I did it in a, in a less creepy way than Matt did. <laughs> like, <laughs> but we still so made mad. it work. Oh my God. Well, welcome. 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 We're so excited to have you here. So tell us exactly what happened as soon as the cameras stopped filming. Yes. Okay, so as soon as the camera stopped filming, um, I spiraled. <laughs> it was not cute. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, but like Jared and I were still talking at that point. Like right. they they said that on the episode, mm-hmm. and that was true. Like we were talking, and then we quit. Um, and then that same summer, I actually I went for like a little vacation to Atlanta, and I drove down and saw him at one of his shows, and he acted like I didn't even exist. Interesting. But you guys had been talking every single day. Um, like here and there, like a little, a little. Did he know you were coming? Yes. Okay. And what's so funny to me about that is, um, a few weeks ago, I get the first DM from him in (gasps) almost a decade. Mind you, I have obviously looked different. Like Mm -hmm. I've, I've lost in the last year, well, since May of, of 2020, I've lost about 80 pounds. Well, that's exciting. So I, Congratulations amazing. on your hard work. But I will say this, and I just want to jump in with this. When they gave the update on mm-hmm. you guys at the end, they mm-hmm. were like, all right, so, um, you know, Jared's working on his music mm-hmm. and um, Melissa lost 15 pounds. And it was like, oh, okay. I mean, why I are you that, telling us? I right. thought that that was very insignificant to an update on who you are and what you're doing with your life. Yes. Oh, definitely. I mean, at that time I was 19, so I didn't have a lot going on. Um, I, but I was definitely more than just, Oh, Melissa's lost some weight. Yeah. yeah that was, it was, I was sad. <laughs> right. Well, also they said that like you guys were planning a trip to see each other in like two weeks after filming. Did that ever happen? No, it was like July. Okay, so this was filmed in April. So this was just right. a few months after. Okay. Right. Yeah. So it was just the next immediate next summer. Okay. And did that happen? Yeah. Like we did. I did go see him at that one time whenever he didn't even act like I existed. Oh, okay. okay so I, this th- was I the thought time. you saw him more than once. Okay. Oh, no. It was just the one. I've only seen him once since we filmed. Okay. So what were your plans? What were the conversations like leading up to the trip? Were you like, oh, we're going to stay together. We're going to be dating. We're going to hang out. We're going to do this, that. Like, what were the, what were the conversations before this? A lot of spicy conversations. Okay. Right. Mm, like okay. that was mostly, mostly what it was. It was like just spicy. Right. Sure. But like, So whenever I got there or whenever I was going to go visit, like I was going to go see a show and then uh, we were going to go like hang out afterward or something. I don't even remember. It was so long ago. Um, And we didn't like he just really didn't act like I existed. Like it was just me and my best friend, my GBF. Like we it was the worst. It was the worst. So what happened from there? Did you just like not see him anymore on that trip? No, I it was just we we were going to like um, stay in like the town he lives in Mm -hmm. that night, but, and then go to Panama city beach the next day. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we just drove to Panama city beach that night. We were just like, no, or or I was just like, no, like, okay. So the vibe was off in person and you were like, moving on. See you later. Were you upset? Like, or were you okay? No, I was definitely, I was 19. So I was very, um, very fragile and I did mm-hmm. not have a control mm-hmm. over my emotions and um, what's that like of, I've always I know had someone control. just like that <laughs> I've always had control over my emotions 100 oh, I still don't don't let me act like I do right now <laughs> no I was just in therapy 24 hours ago so <laughs> <laughs> same <laughs> everything's fine all right so you go um do you talk after that um we talked a little bit like we mm-hmm. I don't even know timelines because I met my um, my like soon to be ex husband whenever I was twenty two. Okay. Um. So only three years difference, and I didn't really talk to Jared like in that time that I was married. Did he ever explain why he treated you like a stranger at his show? No, I never really asked. Okay. I You're just really better than me. So you just kind of moved not on. Petty, like I am petty to my core, but I'm also like at that time was very. 
um, I didn't know how to speak up for myself. Okay. Like I didn't know how to, how to really like vocalize if something bothered me because I'm like, Oh, I don't want to hurt their feelings. If I tell them that that bothered me, right. which, uh, dumb. Sure. I can relate though. Yeah. That's yeah, more like, than me. I was just like, Oh, well maybe he didn't mean it. Uh. I think when I was 19, I no, no, that's for sure was like that. When, when yeah. We were 19. Not, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously we're like totally um, different and like amazing Put now. together. Like very right. perfect. Uh-huh. So that's good. Uh-huh. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you basically move on. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the episode and the things that we said about you and the things that we observed about you. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the one thing that I really felt, and I think Noel agrees with me on this, is that you seemed like you didn't think you did anything wrong. Yes. You were, you kept saying like, it is what it is. It is what it is. Right. Yes. And that is, I mean, obviously I did say that and it was a lot of editing. Like I actually like talked to a producer, like after Mm -hmm. the show aired and I was like, I can't believe that you've done, you didn't me that way. Like there was this whole, like, I was about to black out whenever I walked out of that little green monopoly house. Like I was about to, we called it a birdhouse. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, (laughs) it's not my birdhouse. We'll get there. I'm sure. Um, (laughs) um, But so I was super, super nervous and I was like, it is what it is. I suppose. Sorry, I'm not Barbie. And then like, I immediately just start just (laughs) like just bawling and I remember this one thing and it's one of my favorite stories when people ask me how me the max are mm-hmm. I was like I know what I did was fucked up mm-hmm. like like I owned up my shit and he's like you don't have to tell me it was fucked up and I was like Jesus Christ okay wow who said that Neve or, Neve. or Max Neve Max is an angel really really mm-hmm. see I thought Neve would be so nice he was nice after that but it's, like yeah it's so mean though I I, think that he gets frustrated after like mm -hmm. having like this is his job. It's like he's got to catch you. And then it's like, don't act like you're sad. You did this. Sure. Right. Right. And that's kind of what I because in my mind and it wasn't the correct way of thinking at all. But in my mind, I was like, well, I have this a one personality and Mm -hmm. I know I do. And mm-hmm. I have a good sense of humor and I'm caring, but like my looks didn't match. I felt like at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like, well, you know, if people really fall in love with people, then what I look like won't matter. Now I see the obvious. You see like, the deception now, but you didn't see it. Right. At the time. Right. Because I was just so wrapped up in it. You thought that him not accepting you uh, lying was him not accepting your looks. Right. Right. Period. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess I could understand that. A little I could bit. understand that. Yeah. Especially when, uh, again, you're 19 mm-hmm. at this time. What uh, a weird age. <laughs> oh, for sure. It was I, I do not ever want to go back to that. <laughs> no, okay. between like the ages 17 and 19. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So now let's talk about we arrive to meet you for the first time. Mm-hmm. We pull up to is it a general store? what's okay. happening and then we okay. open we open the gate into a backyard of birdhouses and yes. you are in one of them i'm not positive. a shed farm it's a shed farm, a shed farm. that is, is that a real thing way to explain it no that is a real thing to us now yes I mean, you've yeah, changed like, my life now yes i i am from the like the smallest town like the smallest. I mean, they town. couldn't even, it didn't even fit real size houses. That's how small it is. Right. Exactly. <laughs> we had to have little green monopoly houses, little, little sheds. Um, but so that I didn't live there. I lived with my dad at the time. Okay. So they had to get me somewhere to film. And they were like, oh, okay. I have this super cute place for you. We Wait, went so this is like an Airbnb kind of situation. Yeah, but before Airbnb, because right, so they're rent, but they're renting you this shed to film in. Yes, and not explaining to us that you That's, do not live yeah. in the shed. Right, yeah, they didn't so say like, anything. I'm portrayed as this this Mississippi Rosie O'Donnell looking girl <laughs> who lives in a shed. 
what in the world like that's why I got so upset I had to message those producers I was like don't be dirty but like, is that a general store is that a store there it used to actually be a pizza place I'd like Just, to have that in front of my no house. no Mm-mm. it was bad no, pizza okay. I don't even remember it's been closed since the 90s interesting Noel, are you thinking what I'm thinking what are we gonna live in a shed farm I mean, it seems like the only way I could ever afford a house. Yes. Hell yeah. If we get enough sheds, though. We could have a shed compound. We could have a shed mansion. Yeah. Yeah, we could. Like a human centipede of sheds. I like that. It's a good idea. You could join us. Yeah. Well, I'm like the shed queen. So (laughs) let's go. I like it. Okay. Whose picture did you use? Whose picture did you use? You said it was someone random. How did you find this girl's picture? Oh, we got to go back a little. We're going to go back pre catfish, like pre catfish show. Okay. Um, we're going to go back to MySpace real quick. We're going to go about 2008, nine. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. So that was not my first catfish page. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is pretty usual for people who catfish they, to do multiple. And for some reason, and I don't know why, I decided, oh, first I was going to be a man. I don't want to be a man. I don't want to like, catfish people being a man like mm-hmm. so anyway I found this guy on photo bucket do you guys remember photo bucket? Of course. I do okay so photo bucket I found this guy who lived in Ohio and he got a girlfriend and it was his girlfriend and then I had her on my my myspace and then I had her on Facebook mm-hmm. and so I I would just so it was just kind of a random girl right I I have apologized to the girl since then like I was like, very nice of you. I'm so sorry. Was like, she flattered though? Um, yeah, I would say so. She was like, it's just crazy. Like, I don't know how I would feel if somebody she was did like, me oh, like little that. old me. I mean, someone did it to me. I didn't mind. No one did it to no, me. No yeah, one so- did it to me either. <laughs> Actually, someone did somebody do it did to me. It was weird. Me. Somebody really? did do it to me after the show. Yeah, and they they were fucking mean. Oh, uh, okay. Well, well like nice. a troll page, right? Right, yeah. Okay, so how did you guys actually meet you and Jared? I think MySpace, maybe. Like you maybe. found him randomly? Or are you just into I... guys in bands? Like what's really going on here? Right. Okay, so <clears throat> the <sighs> let me get comfortable. <laughs> um, so the girl that pictures I used. Um, she was obviously way more attractive, or I felt like she was way well, more attractive okay. than me at the time. I was going to say she, she wasn't. Looked, she's just different. Yeah, That's all. right. Like everything that I'm not, she was. So, okay, I wait, would can go I after just stop guys. you? Yeah. Why are you? You keep saying like I'm not blonde. I don't have blue eyes. I'm not Barbie. Is yes. that what you like? Is that your ideal uh look of a a woman? Is that what you like in your head? That's what's attractive. No, but that's what I felt like everybody else thought was attractive. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I'm, fair enough. Yeah. I was like, yeah. So, so you're, this is, you're going to tell us how you met Jared. I'm very sorry. About oh yeah. This. Um, so I actually had, we, I met Jared. I don't even remember. Like, I don't know if we had like mutual Facebook friends or like what was going on there. Um, but the reason we got as close as we did is because I had a broken foot and, I, and he wasn't working because that's a oh, love a broken man that doesn't work. <laughs> um, and he, I had to call him on his house phone and this was in like 2000, like <laughs> 10 or 11. And I was like, this guy, anyway, so <laughs> I was able to, to, and it's so, it's so terrible. Like I really realized how shitty I was. But like, I, I would just talk to him all the time because you were bored. Was, you were bored, bored and he, he was, was home. bored. Yep. Yeah, exactly. I understand that. Okay. Um, so you see Jared's pictures on, fa- on Facebook, right? And now again, I'm not saying anything about anything. You see his pictures and you're like, I have to have him. He's so hot. He, you were just like, Hey, is anyone home? <laughs> yes. Is anyone sitting by their mom's? kitchen phone at home and wants to talk exactly. all day and he does was anybody like, want to talk hey. <laughs> Is hey that what happened? I mean pretty much and like 
I don't want to say like I was no I'm gonna say it I was like I would catfish like a bunch of people like Mm -hmm. I had hundreds of friends on that page right like Mm -hmm. so Jared wasn't even like special you said it not me okay (laughs) but no you're right you're right like it wasn't it wasn't really it wasn't that deep right okay. I mean it kind of it kind of it got there well eventually. after you talk but on the, the house sure phone. you got close. on the house phone all day yeah <laughs> okay um we have we have some more pictures uh we have we have some more questions <laughs> <sighs> did you ever get to meet Angela and Sarah the two groupies no but I talked to the mm-hmm. oh wait did I Maybe they were at that show. I really can't okay. remember because I fucking hated that night. Right. Yeah, the music was terrible. terrible. I was not vibing. I looked cute as hell. All right. So, okay. Did you ever go to Keith AQ? Mm-mm. Okay. Do you know what we're talking about? He went to a barbecue place yes. called Keith AQ. Okay. Did you <laughs> live close to him? Not too terribly far. I think it's like eight hours. Okay. So, very not far. Okay. Not, not, very, yeah. very not close. <laughs> Right. Yeah. At all. Very not close, very not but like close. not not too far. At all. But you lived in like similar towns, like small town, small thing to do. Right. Conservative. Like. Did sure. MySpace ever contact you to be the poster child of MySpace? Because when you emerged from that shed, I was like, oh, oh yeah. look, it's MySpace. It's MySpace Mel- walking out of a shed. <laughs> Melissa Malice is here. At your service, <laughs> like you oh, are I was MySpace. It. There you was, are. You had MySpace hair. You had emo screamo hair. Mm-hmm. Yep. There were fake pearls, which are is the official necklace of catfish. Those are mine. actually real pearls. Ooh, look good they for were, you. They were my dead mom's pearls. Well, that's very nice. At least they got uh, to debut on national. Oh yeah, television. you know, she would definitely have been proud. I'm sure uh, because a lot of girls on this show, I think that it's like the the long string mm-hmm. necklaces of mm-hmm. the time. Uh, but a lot of emo screamo, a lot of zebra. Yes. Oh, yeah. You did uh, show us two different kinds of zebra. Yes, ma'am. And that was. Uh, definitely... I love an animal print, though. <laughs> oh, me too. I've traded zebra for leopard print. I have leopard print Crocs like I have leopard print. Sandals. I had leopard print Crocs, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. Um, so one of our favorite lines that you said, and now tell us if this is edited or not. You said. um, if you were to walk up to half of the guys on the friend list, they would say crazy stuff like, who are you? Crazy, right? <laughs> crazy. I can't. <laughs> I was so nervous, nervous. y'all. All right. Like, oh, my God. How's Cousin Lindsay? <laughs> cousin Lindsay is my best fucking friend who, she, who was also 19 and nervous right I mean you guys were the mm-hmm. same there was just another one yeah you were so right. similar we we still are like okay. even a thousand miles away we talk every day are you Aww. still smoking cigs no ma'am okay good, good. for you recreationally <laughs> <laughs> as a hobby just, just, just for the, sometimes for the, rush, for the rush of it yeah uh no whenever I drink okay so yeah I think that's like a thing that's a lot of people yeah now did you contact Catfish or did he? Oh, let me take a sip of my tea quick. Whoa. Take, take a sip. Take a sip. I like it. Digest it. Me. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because you wanted to meet him so badly. Uh, no, because so. Or he wanted publicity for his band. What what had happened was. <laughs> I love <bought> that. <laughs> so I got. My friends found out some of my friends found out that I was catfishing and uh-huh. they were like, hey, I saw this casting call for the show talking about like if you have online dating profiles, blah, 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 blah. Everybody knows how catfish does sure. their casting calls. Um, and I was like, oh, well, I would be interested. And especially if I could like tell tell my story and like because it's it's much deeper than than the the 10 minutes that I was on sure. MTV right um so I get in contact with them or I they no, my friends got in contact with them for me gave them my contact info um a caster casting person I don't know what they're called yeah a casting um, agent yeah a casting agent got in touch with me 
and was like, hey, um, this is what the show is about. Then I found out it was Catfish, which I had obviously seen the movie. Um, got it from Redbox. I thought it was a horror movie and it was just a movie about <laughs> <It was>. my life. <laughs> it was just a movie about my it life. It was a horror movie. I was like, I do this too. Mm-hmm. Um, but so I had out of the hundreds of people I was catfishing, I could have realistically chosen to do it with any of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. But you um, love Jared. No. <laughs> I wanted to... I wanted to help Jared. He had a kid. He could get some money out of it, get some publicity for his band, like out of a genuine place. And I did warn him. I was like, I don't look like those pictures. I didn't send him a picture of me, but I was like, I don't look like those pictures. So he knew beforehand that this wasn't going to be you. I think he was in denial about it. Yeah, because he didn't seem like he was pretending. Like, I think it seemed like he believed. He looked like he was hyperventilating a lot. Yeah. What's so weird to me about that is like after the first day of filming, because we filmed two days after Mm -hmm. the first day of filming, he was like texting me after he was back at his hotel. I knew I was convinced you guys hooked up, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. He he he's real into you. Yeah, he like hugged you for a long time. Oh, it was a and very long time. Like, kiss her, kiss her, <laughs> kiss her. And I was like, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> he but, was all the way into you. Yeah, he was. Oh, he still is like to this day. Okay, so mm-hmm. let's fast forward. What what yeah. happened? He yeah. messaged you a few months ago. Like like last month. And said. He was like, How are y'all doing? And I was like, first off, who's y'all? Right. I didn't say that to him, but I was like, um, well, I'm uh, separated. And Did he smell my... that, you think? Oh, yeah. Like, I think he's been waiting. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, if I was him, I would definitely be into me now. Like, if he was into me then. Oh, no, no. Like, he was all the way into He you, was all the way exactly into you. Exactly as you were. Oh, exactly. And then now, though, I'm much cuter and older and not You're 19. just older. Listen, don't say cuter. Don't yeah. say things like that. We're just older and different. I've, yes. Everyone changes as uh, 10 years later. You know what I mean? Thank yes. God. Thank God. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, so, I'm so much better than I was 10 years ago. I get it. <laughs> I don't know. I peaked at 16, so it's very different for me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so did you answer him? Yeah. Okay, like, I was so- just, like, chitty chat and, like, okay. what's up? And mm-hmm. Did you guys have any spicy conversation? I think he called me. I don't know. He told me I was his future ex-wife and I was like, I'm never getting married again. So no. And he was like, well, I want to come see you. So of course you do. Like my band's Yeah. My band's playing. I could, you could come and I'll ignore you at my show. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and I would too. So maybe this isn't over. Yeah, no, it is. It is. It's not going to be anything again ever. Well, um, but isn't it fun how it goes around like that? Like guys, they always come back. They just do. Always, no matter what. Always. Always. Unless they're dead, they mm-hmm. come back. Yes. Agreed. And sometimes when they're dead, they do too. They do. <laughs> <laughs> if you have that's a Ouija a, board, anything's that's a possible. different podcast, but absolutely. I believe in everything. Um, so what have you been up to since then besides the catfish stuff? Um, so obviously you got married, you got divorced. Was there anything Not divorced else? Not divorced yet. I'm separated. Okay. Because if I don't clarify that, he'll be upset. Okay. So um, okay. Yeah. Um, I have MS, multiple sclerosis. Oh, well, that's awful. I'm sorry. Yeah. I got diagnosed at 25. Um, I moved last year a thousand miles away from my family. Okay. Um, I originally moved to Iowa because that's where my ex is from. And they have really good hospitals here and specialists for me and stuff. Okay. Um, and better opportunity. Well. I just moved across the Mississippi river into Illinois and I'm staying here. Like I have no, no intentions of, of ever going back to the South to ever revisit any of that. I'm definitely that given my, my current circumstances are pretty shitty. I'm the happiest I've ever been. Okay. Well, that's you. amazing. Congratulations. I'm in my, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Oh, oh I was just going to say like, even I, I can be myself for the first time because I'm alone for the first time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so like, I have to really like figure out who, who the fuck I am. And it's, it's weird. It's like this weird thing. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. It is. 
We're very proud of you. Well, you, you seem like you're doing great. You do. I'm doing something. You're doing. No, you're doing fantastic. Great. Yes. Uh, so no more Jared. Maybe at some point we can catch up with him. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. But, you know, we're very happy to hear this update. I'm a little bummed that you guys didn't bone. Me too. I really thought you did. I really thought you did. I mean, I got in a wreck like two months before we filmed. So I didn't actually have a car at the time. I'm pretty sure we would have. Like yeah. if I would have had yes. a car at the time, like yes. we, we would have. That sure. energy was there. It was. Oh, the whole time. He was, he was just looking at me like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like with those eyes, like he does he look the same now? Have you seen a new picture of him or anything? He looks 10 years older. Okay. Fair enough. Well, (laughs) thank you so much for being here. Is there any, do you want anyone to follow you uh, on any social media or anything? Oh, for sure. I actually just posted um, maybe last week or week before a TikTok saying like, hey, do you guys want to hear about me being on Catfish? And like, so my my um, TikTok name is X Melissa Sippy X because I'm an emo kid still, obviously, as an Love adult, it. elder emo. <laughs> um, and then I, I do use Twitter, Facebook. Do you whatever. have Instagram? I do. It's Raisin Brandt underscore underscore Ray, R-A-I-S-I-N. Mm-hmm. b-r-a-n-d-t underscore underscore okay so uh you got tiktok uh, what's your name on twitter um raisin brandt as well okay great with the well, underscores just, i just followed you on instagram well Heck make yeah, sure that's everyone that's listening please follow melissa on all of her platforms and please follow us as well i'm at trixie tuzini on instagram and twitter and noelle is at noe girl Melissa, thank you so much for sharing. And we can't wait to see what's next for you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Keep in touch. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye.